Hi all folks, so here's how to unroot um, your Amazon Kindle back to completely stock, unroot, unbrick. Um, first of all, I've, um, I assume you have Twerp Recovery installed. Um, so turn it on and press power to get into Twerp. Alright. And once in Twerp, All you're gonna do is um, download update dash Kindle dash um, 6.21 blah blah bin, and we're gonna copy it over. Um, this is also useful if you can't even get into your Kindle operating system. What you're gonna do is go to mount mount USB storage, connect it to your computer via USB cable, micro USB cable to your computer. Next, go download the file update dash Kindle dash 6.21 blah blah dot bin. Copy this over to your Kindle drive, which is for me is L. Um, and once that's copied over, all we're going to do is um, basically flash it in our Twerp recovery, and we should be all unbricked, um, unrooted, completely unrooted with no root. Um, just simple as that, just flashing this. So we'll be back when this is done. Hi folks, so once it's copied over, we're going to rename it as uh, update.zip. So do update.zip, like that. Alright, and we'll go to our Kindle Fire now. And we can choose unmount, right? And then click on home. And then um, you'll want to do wipe. Alright, wipe. And do factory reset and hit factory reset and this will wipe all your data personal settings apps and then we're gonna just install the update.zip using the installation feature so go back go back to home choose install and uh, go find the file it should be under um, SD card so go to the root directory by hitting that this button the dot dot there we go Oh, hold on. Um, SD card should be. No, let's hit home again. Install. Oh, there we go. There's the SD card down here. SD card and choose update.zip and uh, flash. Hit the flash. And you might get some errors, uh, but don't worry about it. Um, this will unroot your Kindle Fire um, back to completely stock. And I'll be back when this is done. And we're going to reboot after it's done. Well, folks, so it's all done. Um, don't worry about the warning there. Reboot, and you should have a completely stock Kindle Fire root. Um, with 1.6.2 so let's see it worked so you can see the um, twerp recovery is gone and uh, we should have a completely unrooted kindle fire so if you do something wrong um, you can always unroot your kindle fire um, just so long as make sure you have your uh, recovery installed um, so I'll be back when this completely boots up Hi folks, so it rebooted. Um, as you can see, I got the startup screen. Um, it's been completely unrooted. Let me go sign in, make sure everything's been removed. And by the way, um, I really like um, how the new update, the touch screen is way more responsive. Hi folks, so I've got my Kindle Fire. Um, it's already, uh, it already uploaded um, loaded the stuff I bought from Amazon. Um, if I go to apps, super users, gone, um, everything's gone. Um, I have, I'll have to re-download all these programs, but, you know, it's been unrooted, unbricked, completely back to stock uh, 1.6.2. Anyway, that's how you unroot, unbrick your Kindle Fire. Um, subscribe, we'll have more cool stuff at uh, rootkindlefire.com. See y'all later, thanks.